<laughs> this is the most physically training and demanding thing that I can ever remember doing this day. It's never ending. Welcome back to this week's video, everybody. We're on the sunny shores of Lake Superior. We're doing the Puckasaw Coastal Trail. It is 65 kilometers of hiking. We've chartered a fishing vessel that's gonna drive us on Lake Superior, 65 kilometers, and then we're gonna hike our way back. It is freezing here right now. It is late June, almost July, and it is five degrees. I was not anticipating it to be this cold. But we are really excited for this. We drove 12 hours through the night to get here for 5.30 in the morning and we're getting picked up at seven in the morning by the chartered fishing vessel to bring us out. So we are a little bit sluggish today, but we're all really excited. I've got every single layer that I own here today on. So I'm feeling a little bit bulky, but uh, hopefully we wake up throughout the day and we'll get some hiking in, keep you along the way. So I'm very excited for this one. Officially on our own. We have been dropped off by the boat, 65 kilometers down the coastal line of Lake Superior. I am uh, Nature Calls, just going through the woods here to find where I can go to the bathroom. I'm gonna make some coffee. It's 8, 10 in the morning. And we are going to slowly get uh, started on the day. I think we have about six kilometers today, but it's a hard six kilometers. It's uh, very rocky along the coast. It's not, it's not easy. So uh, we're gonna take our time today. <laughs> How's the coffee, Hayden? A lot less intense now. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal clear blue water. Looks like we're in like British Columbia right now. This is gorgeous. So where are we starting? Right here. Yeah. Right. Highway Lake. That's our first night. Yeah. Second night, White Spruce Harbor. Okay. Third night, Fisherman's Cove. Yep. Fourth night, Wazzle Bay. Cool. Fifth night, uh, Shigowiminigum <laughs> Fall. That's a track. That's a hard one to pronounce. And then all the way back to Hattie Cove at the top. Yeah, but that's easy. Onwards. Onwards we go. Wow, this is stunning. Big cliff over there. Let's see. Wow. It's gorgeous. These bugs are off. I don't know if anyone has bug spray accessible. But... I do. Got some right here. Yeah, no worries. Oh yeah, this is what I have in motion form, Dan. Same brand? Yeah. How far are we, Adam? Probably 4K so far. Four of six today. Two more to go. We just climbed a massive hill. That's why we're so tired. Look at the bugs swarming you. I remember, I remember Dude, this. Dude, look, look over at me. <laughs> See in the water, you're always looking for the deepest, bluest parts. For fishing, fishing later? Right, yeah. 
such clean water. Almost there. Well, we made it to our campsite, our first one. Um, that was the hardest 6K of our trip. Distance wise, it wasn't crazy, but it was up and down, lots of rock face. But uh, pretty sweaty right now. So we're gonna settle in, make camp here, get a fire going, maybe go for a swim, and then hopefully catch some fish for lunch in a perfect world. But uh, I am on cloud nine right now. My adrenaline's going with the lack of sleep. I'm just so happy to be here. We've got the whole day to relax. It's 11 in the morning. So uh, let's get settled in. Got him? Yes! Oh my gosh, careful here. Oh yeah. Oh well. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, we got him. Holy crap, man. Right. Oh, you got him good. He's in there good. Oh. Careful, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just let him. Uh... Nope. I guess the hook. I'm broke. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice, beautiful lake trout you caught. Only what, 15 casts? Maybe 20. Yeah. Oh, well done, man. Lost his bigger brother, but that will do. <laughs> yeah, this will be nice lunch. Well done. Firemaster Ryan. So we'll just cook the fish over the fire, right? Yeah, we'll cut them up into like quarters and frying pan over some butter, probably. Nice. trout cooked up in butter with salt and garlic Sustenance. Ten out of ten. Yep. Holy. That was the coldest water I've ever been in. I, what's that? What were you saying? Oh, say hello. <laughs> Literally could only stand there for two seconds and then came out screaming. Like a little girl. That was crazy. Tonight's menu is beef stroganoff. Do you know how you're supposed to test spaghetti to see if it's done? Throw it at a wall? Maybe. Yeah, that's a mess. I think.
dishes are done. Time to go to camp. We're gonna probably call it an early night. We're gonna get an early morning start tomorrow because it's supposed to rain. And we're exhausted. We've been up for 24 hours or 48 hours. I have no idea how everything's a blur. Beautiful sun right now though. Over there's darkness. Let's get cozy and warm. It is nine o'clock. Is it nine o'clock? Thank you. It's still bright out, but we're exhausted and we're going to bed. Good night, everybody. Put the coffee on the bottom with the sipper lip and brown sugar oatmeal on the top. The water's really choppy today. It looks like rain's coming, so we're gonna get out of here and try to make it to the next camp before we get poured on. Climb this little peak here. Oh. Holy. So we were down there. Well, over there was our campsite. It's beautiful. These rock paths are pointing us where we need to go. Yeah, no, we're here right now. Yeah. And it's literally just we on the other side of the swimming pool. Um, so we gotta go, where is it? Fishing? White food. Other than my ankle, I feel money. Alright, you good to go? We just got yep. the rain report and it's gonna Actually, downpour in about an hour. Some sailors off of Superior from Duluth just told us that um, it's going to pour all day, all night. So we've got a really motor to get to our site so that we can try to get things set up. Uh, so I won't be filming much until then just so that we can get safe passage and get everything dry. We found our friend's boat, our sailboat. Nice spot, I must have taken a dinghy in. Beautiful. It's all sweat all along my legs we're really high up right now didn't realize we had this much elevation gain today and the bugs every time we stop they just go for us <sighs> there's fern <laughs> wow we're really high up i don't know if the video shows it well yeah pretty much just around that sixth peninsula there Pretty nice view here. Beautiful view. What did you say before? Over there is a sweet cave. Oh, I just pointed out. I just pointed out, I think. This, it's a cave up there. It uh, doesn't do it justice here, but you can see right in. It looks like there's almost like boxes. Of Time to recharge, get some water. This hike is a lot more challenging than we thought it was going to be today. Whew. Sandy Beach. I feel like I'm in the Caribbean. This has been a challenging hike. Uh, it's just a lot of undulation up and down. I think the next few days we have like 15, 18K hikes, but they won't be as hard. We're a straight run along the coast. But I think we're getting close to our campsite. I lost my mount to put my camera on. You did? Yeah. So now it's just gonna be freehand, which is right. not the best. Here's our campsite that we finally made it to. Beautiful sand beach. It's windy. We did beat the rain. Here's our site here. Fire going, putting a tarp over here, set up our tents, rain is forecasted so we're going to try to beat this thing out. Let's get some fire going, the rain is starting wow. here. 
might as well just get a thing onto each corner first and then. But I think if you do opposite corners, it's gonna make the other ones easier, no? Because then you're tying it. Well, we're, let's just get rope onto all four first and then we'll tie it opposite corners. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're getting the good stuff. We got a lot of down trees here. Go over back there. Convenient for what it is. I have another one in my bag too. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Okay, show us. Today we went from there, yeah, up to here. Now we're at our new. White like Spruce Harbor one campsite. Okay. okay. And we gotta go. Where is it? Fisherman's Cove. Let's get to chilly now. No, 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 no. There. Oh my Fisherman's gosh. Cove. Let's see the distance. There. Oh. <laughs> so tomorrow's 15 kilometers? Roughly. Let's do the math here. Wow. That is going to be a long one tomorrow, guys. Ooh, I'm gonna get it. Get it. Oh. 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 <laughs> Rain has started, but it's not that bad. Got all the rain gear on now. Getting fire going, getting a lot of firewood so that we can stack it underneath our tarp to stay dry. Probably around 1.30 right now. And I think we're gonna make chicken noodle soup for lunch and then have a later supper. And we've just been snacking on beef jerky and the guys with some trails, trail mix and whatnot, but it's a relaxing afternoon to a busy morning and hike. Don't think we'll do any fishing here. It's because there's no drop-offs. Normally we're looking for the deep blue water that we can get underneath to get the lake trout. Soup. Dehydrated chicken noodle soup. That we're getting going. Our plan is we're gonna go for a swim, even though it is an ungodly temperature. But we're gonna come back to hot soup once we're done. But the ice cold water will help our joints because we're old, right, Ryan? Yeah, super old. <laughs> Looks good. Beautiful chicken noodle soup after our dip. We're just warming up now. I don't know how that didn't hit the camera. <laughs> I was flirting with danger there. So cool. I can walk all the way to the end here. because this has washed out here a couple times already. And for reference. I'm having a bit of a moment here. It is just, once you take the time after you're done physically exhausted to explore and appreciate everything, it's unbelievable here. Um, on this trip before I was coming, a lot of people, uh, I tell a lot of people about the trip that I'm going on, telling them I'm driving 12, 13 hours north, chartering a fishing vessel to drive us 
80 kilometers along Lake Superior just to hike back. And they'd say, hmm, that sounds fun, you know, with that face. And I was starting to question it too. A lot of work and, you know, valuable vacation time with work. And uh, I'm fully understanding it right now. It's these moments that you look back on and you cherish. This group and I, we went to the Yukon almost 10 years ago now, and we did the Cottonwood Trail through Kluani National Park, almost 100 kilometers, and it was one of the most treacherous, mentally challenging and physically demanding trips I've ever done, and some of the best memories that you look back on. So it might not be a really relaxing trip, but I think that's a part of it. It's challenging yourself. and. It's rewarding. This is gorgeous. This is fulfillment. Some cool beach finds. Some cool rocks and sea glass. But overall, we have perfect weather, so it's hard to say yeah. like it wasn't rough. But These are hash browns. Is that pan hot, right? Oh, salty, so good. Crispy on the bottom. Woo! Spare bins further. Than the last one. Time for bed. Got all my goodies. Good night, everybody. Buddy. It's still raining out. Just getting the bag all packed up. And I left my crocs outside and they are covered in slugs. Inside and out. Good morning. It is still kind of raining. We've taken down our tent. And we are Gonna start our longer hike today. It's supposed to get sunny around noon from the last weather report we got, so hopefully we get some better weather today. And we're off. Kilometers down. Burn one here. and a bit down. How many down? One, one and, and a, a bit. bit. That's it, eh? 1.1. Yeah. 1.1. We've only been walking for 15 minutes. Is that it? Oh, that's yeah. pretty good. It's good pace. I, I moves quickly when you're on these trails, eh? Yeah, it does. Like versus the rocks. It's like oh, if we keep that pace up, we're doing uh, four and a half kilometers an hour. Fern, nice. here. That's good. Fern. Just waiting on Fern. White gravel. What'd you say? I think it's this beach, the next beach, White Gravel River. Oh, okay. So terrible. Let's see what. There's a lot of thunder that we heard, but there's no ominous looking clouds here. Very weird. Yeah, Just White Gravel fine. River campsites. Waterproof. I don't like the pack cover I have at all. Yeah, my pack cover. I don't know. It's any good. It's the cheapest one. We're going back in the forest, or should we put the raincoats on? We're going back in the forest at the end of the beach. Coming down pretty good. I'm worse if that didn't clear. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> got this buddy it's pissing rain i already just hit that so oh yeah it's so hard everything is soaking wet my pants my phone me and Ryan. 
<laughs> so it's hard to film because I can't even open my phone to film when I'm trying to swipe. It doesn't work. But we have reached. What's what? Ah, uh, swiping lots. <laughs> the bear claw here. Yeah, extra kilometer. So we did all that. That's it. Any extra kilometer? We got Ten point one two kilometers, three hours forty minutes. But oh. probably was like fifteen kilometers. With all that up and down. Yes, sir. Oh man, we are soaked. And this is exactly what we need: some soup and more firewood. Okay, we're doing Dan's foot reveal after a 10 kilometer hike in soppy wet conditions all day long. Okay, this is gonna be gross, so sorry everybody. Oh. Not too bad. But this is the Could be worse. That's gonna give the uh... Oh yeah. Anybody want some tea? <laughs> That's pretty wet, the sock. Nope, not too bad. Oh <laughs> Preheat these to 375 for 45 minutes, then flip them over once. Get the road up, the road up, yeah, got the rotisserie going. Yeah, got the rotisserie going. Campsite is really nice and private beach here. What is that? Oh, that was a duck or something. You're off to go fishing. And I chose the wrong footwear to wear because this is a bit of a hike. But we're hoping to get some trout for lunch. Second lunch, like hobbits. Because we're eating a lot right now because we're exerting so much energy. Right. It is slick. See the drop off here. The water is really clear, really green looking right now. You got a fish? <laughs> oh yeah, it's a good sign. It's okay. It's Fern's dinner, yeah. right, Fern? Yeah. It's okay. Oh yeah, look at that. What's the? Uh, is that the lure? Why is it so? Sh That's a salmon, man. Is that salmon? No. It's a trout. Wow. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I got off. Oh, well, I should have started here. That's okay. It's a good first start. <laughs> that was perfect size for Fern. <laughs> plop into that. How cold do you think that was? What did he say in Superior? 46 or something. 46, 48 degrees Fahrenheit. I have no idea what that is in Celsius. But it's chilly. You can see how like mountainous the ranges are on Superior. This is very small compared to what we're hiking, but the undulation up and down just insane. So if you have a straight kilometer, you can walk that in, I don't know how long. But you have all these obstructions, and crazy slippery slopes, and you know, there's logs in the way, you got to go up and around and do everything. You exert so much more energy than you realize. So, when we said this trip was 65 kilometers, it's really probably like if you were to go flat, like 100 kilometers. I have no idea, but it feels like that. So, we're taking these breaks quite seriously and now you can see we just sit around maybe get some fish 
Fern, do you want to fish? You have some trout? Yeah. Bum 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 you just have to go through all the rock. Luckily, I've got my Crocs in sport mode. And now, I'm being a passenger princess while Adam catches us food. Right, Adam? Hopefully. <laughs> just whip him with it. Come to me. Dinner. Wow. It is bigger than the last few. That's what she said. <laughs> This is uh, just such good fishing here. You can't really see it too well with the lighting, but it's a decent fish. Perfect, yeah. See that. Wow, well done. That looks awesome. Clean job. To the side for now. Yeah. Just two. Yeah. An extra crispy piece of fish skin for you too, since you caught everything here. Yes, that looks great. Well deserved. Oh yes, we got some fresh fish and the sun is starting to come out to give us some relief because we've been in the rain all day and <laughs> we're soaked. Adam still hasn't taken off his boots yet, which are just probably puddles. It's been working hard. <laughs> yeah, no. I didn't you. know for sure. No. I, think I, it. I think I barely made it over, but I'm not claiming anything. Mm, I think it's better than the last one. Yeah. Crisp beer. I have those salt packets, and he has those salt packets. We do have salt. That's about I all I got, though. Pretty good with the garlic. Let's put this here. Some instant coffee. Oh, yeah. Mm. How's the fish? Mm hmm. It's good? Mm hmm. Yes. Let's put our lid on. And now let's enjoy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would just do them dry. Like. Yeah. Our drying station here. And over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> you guys breathing all that in? <laughs> no, we're above. Under, below. Yeah. The floor. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very cold. And it's raining again, even though today was not supposed to rain. It's about 9.30, we're gonna have to bed soon. It's too bad it was raining this whole time, but it's time for bed. It is almost 10 o'clock, it's still light out here. 
tomorrow we have an easier morning and a lighter hike and then the following day we have a massive hike like 20 kilometers but we'll see y'all in the morning oh no what sitting in the tent <laughs> sleep until like three or four in the morning I don't know why it is now 7.45 my hands are all cut up I don't know why I had to share that with you but I did good news it's supposed to be sunny outside fine <laughs> Let's get this day started. Ah, oh, a nice blue sky day. No more rain. I'm a happy man. Oh yeah. Let's see. Ah, uh, still a little wet, but I mean these were completely underwater. These are good. Good? <laughs> Still sucked. Let's make some coffee and sit on the beach with the guys. Yeah. When I walked to the bear box, my pants got cut. Oh, okay. oh. The low life stuff. Oh. Onions, yeah. Oh, onions. And, uh, oh. Breakfast hash. What is it? Uh, hash beef browns. Hash. Beef, beef hash. hash. Yeah. Beautiful. Peppers, onion, beef. Wow. Potatoes. Nice nips, bro. <laughs> Living the life. Just hopping over to the other beach here. Oh my gosh, this is, <laughs> I feel like I'm in Aruba. Gorgeous. It's like a whole ocean out here. Crystal clear blue water. It was very cold here. I was a little naive on the temperatures on Lake Superior. Nights have gone down to five degrees, maybe less. Or keep it warm. Getting your bag ready, Fern? Gonna miss this site, it was nice. Ooh, and we're off. Yeah. yeah, we cleared out a good, probably three quarters left. Right, because there's a tough section here, but it's most of the way up, so we're just breaking here first. That is an amazing view. Now we have a go all the way down. Yeah. Looks like we made it back down some slippery rocks. Back to the coast. Which I think we're gonna finish out the duration of our hike today to our next spot at Wazoo Bay. How you guys feeling? I feel fine. Good? Good. Fine. Easy day so far? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Me too. The, uh, any more hills would suck, but. Yeah, that was a big incline on the way in. Now it's beautiful. 
Just gorgeous. I don't mind them when you can use your hands to help out. Yeah. I think we're getting close. I can hear the water, which means we're close to our beach. Today's supposed to be the easy day. Definitely easier than the other days, but just the wear and tear on the body makes everything harder. It's day four of hiking. Got an option. Yep. This one, thanks Hayden. All right, chili mac and cheese coming on our beautiful campsite here. Chili mac and cheese looks delicious. The British sand is exciting. <laughs> the sand adds a lot of flavor. Trying our luck. The deep blue there drops off for some lake trout. Our site is over there. Got a fight over here. That's a good one. Fern. Fern. Hey. Hey. Come here, sweetie. Could you hook this up for me? Sure. Hold it up. Back on. Oh yeah, that's awesome, man. Time to get dinner going. Adam caught us another fish. We're just happy to come and watch and hang out. He's a great fisherman. This is the third fish landed. We've had a few that I didn't film, myself included, that we got in, but they just shook off at the last minute. But uh, we're gonna have some fish again for dinner. And we're gonna make a fire by the beach today. He didn't pull in all the driftwood. Ryan's making a nice bonfire pit for the beach. We need one stick to yeah. drill an air hole. Okay. Underneath the sand. That's a good idea. Uh, right here should be should do it. Just yeah. snap this yeah, one. That's perfect. Nice. And we're gonna cook the fish over the fire and enjoy the night. Enjoy this beautiful weather. All of our hard work is paying off. <laughs> A couple castaways. Don't know how many more days we have left in us, but we were able to get fish tonight. We're down to our last ration of whiskey. <laughs> Last rations of whiskey. It's rough out here. Damn. 
caramel bar it's so good right now. Oh, you it would. Said that. <laughs> and a burger. <laughs> Too thick. It's hard to find. I know. Thin it's the ones. only flat one I can find, but that might work. We should let this burn down a bit and then put it on a corner. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. No, but it is now. Today from yesterday feels like we're in two different worlds. <laughs> it's pouring rain, and now it feels like we're in a, on a Caribbean beach. It's probably only 18 degrees Celsius, but it feels like the warmest weather ever. We've been in the water three or four times today. What's in the shrimp pasta? Peas. Uh, shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Mushrooms or sun dried tomatoes, skim milk nice. powder, green peas, green yeah, peas, nice. <laughs> uh, then onion, garlic, and salt and pepper. Beautiful. Beautiful. And shrimp. And shrimp. <laughs> no oh, no way. Bubba go, shrimp. Bubba go. Pasta. We've eaten lots today to fuel up for tomorrow. We got 20 plus kilometers tomorrow. So we're trying to carb up. But it is beautiful. We're going to get a good sense of here. Gone without a fly tonight because it's so beautiful out. It's gonna drop down, it's gonna be pretty cold, but I think there might be some stars tonight. The sun just set on the beach, We're getting all our stuff packed up, the fire's still going. The waves will definitely take that out. Tomorrow, we got 20 kilometers that we're hiking, it's our biggest day yet. It's supposed to be straight. But we don't know that yet for sure. So, I'll see you all in the morning. Where we're going to have to get some good rest because it's going to be a long day. Good night. Good morning, everybody. The stars last night were epic through the fly. Don't know if this is condensation or if it rained a bit, but it was a really good sleep. Day five of wearing these hiking socks and they're just kind of holding their shape. <laughs> a little crusty, but every day I dry them out. We're all just getting ready. Making some repairs. These cairns. These cairns help us guide, uh, guide us, sorry, which direction we need to go. 
So we know if we miss a turn, if we don't see a cairn. Pitcher's thistle is a species at risk that grows only in the coastal sand dunes of Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, and Lake Huron. Historically, there are two colonies of Pitcher's thistle in Puckaswa National Park, both in Oseo Bay. Wow. So they've got it all protected off here. Pretty cool. Didn't the boat driver say this something about wild, it being... Man. When you're like, when you're like a heavy storm caused the creek to change its course and form a new mouth, the colony on the beach was eventually wiped out by the creek. Wow. Like, that's kind of crazy when you think about how strong the storm has to be. Tippy at the end. Yeah. Is that one solid? Is that uh, only at the end, not in the middle. No, no, this higher hand thing. To grab oh, onto. I think I think so, but just don't put a ton of weight. Ryan, I'm holding on to this two by six, so it should sag less when you stomp. Well done, buddy. <laughs> okay, yeah. What? <laughs> 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 we're not sure. We just did that and we're not sure. <laughs> oh no. That thing is pretty sturdy. It is. Yeah, You're... but I can't reach from here. If you take one step forward, then you could. You just might get your feet a little wet there, Aiden. That's okay. But it's worth the risk. Yeah, you're good. Hayden doesn't weigh enough to sink away. it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> that thing went under the water five times and I didn't even I breathed on it. <laughs> Well done, Hayden. I'm gonna need one of those. How many kilometers in are we, guys? Uh, seven, seven. Seven. Nice. Are you going full steam, Adam? Fern, don't go on there. Hey, Fern, around. come here. Turn yeah, Adam's gonna. I think Adam's just gonna run. Yeah, <laughs> I just went full foot in. You got it. Cool. No problem. Sorry. It's okay. Adam, just when you get to the last third, it's much slipperier. Be careful. Yeah, that's the way to do it, though. Yeah. How he's walking like yeah. that. That was really well done. I don't have the confidence. These guys. Careful. Much slippery. Yeah. There, like right around there is death. And also the bottom is not as nice to stick balance. You good? Mm -hmm. I wish I used a stick. You guys yeah. cheated. Pretty wicked smart. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch my footing. Last time I started to film, I almost fell. Hurt my foot a bit. having chocolate for 12 kilometers in of 25 today making some lunch and regrouping what one do you have adam i have pasta primavera with chicken nice hayden what do you have lasagna ryan what do you got spicy sausage penne Ooh, fancy fern which one do you got kibble, kibble. dry kibble wow Mmm, <laughs> this looks so good. So dramatic. It actually does look good. Uh, doesn't look like a diaper of any sort. So an update on the food. How was yours, Adam? Pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good. What was out of 10? Give it a 7. 7. Hayden? It's great. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Ryan? 6. 6? 
Mine was quite possibly the worst thing I've ever consumed in my life. Um, I'll put it at a one to two. It was confirmed by everybody that how disgusting it was. Um, Diarrhea. Literally, it, it looked like that. And it tasted not far off. So, yay. Just about at the suspension bridge. How many kilometers have we traveled today? 17.7. I'm feeling it. Uh, okay. The little things in life. This <laughs> thing I feel like a little kid. It was awesome. Holy, what a treat! A suspension bridge. That's so cool. This is what we needed. This has been a gruesome trip, but beautiful at the same time. Everything is through mud, slippery logs, swamps, rock faces climbing high. So this is a luxury. One at a time on this, I guess? Uh, no, I don't think that matters. I was just taking pictures. Emergency day situation. <laughs> <laughs> Once I cross the bridge, I'm done. <laughs> this is cool. Come on. Oh, Fern, it's okay. You're okay, sweetie. Yeah. I'll go slow with her. You're good, sweetie. She climbs off of mountains like a mountain coat and jumps off stuff but this is the easy one and she's struggling because it's just harder on her paws come on babe let's go let's go good job good job come on good girl Want me to go check? Sure. Okay. Approaching 26, 27 kilometers of the day with the group that are behind me right now. Just uh, waiting on one of ours, one of our guys. This is the most physically draining and demanding thing that I can ever remember doing this day. It's never ending. All kinds of trains. Ooh, frog. Or toad. <laughs> Run out of water several times. <sighs> My battery was at zero hours ago. <sighs> Just trying to make it to the end. I can hear the water. We made it to our site, almost 28 kilometers. I don't know how I made it. A few of us were feeling the exact same way. My feet, I got my Crocs on right now, are so sore. They haven't been this sore since oh, we did. Close to 100 kilometers in the Yukon almost 10 years ago. We're gonna get some water now. We left today at 8.30 in the morning and it's now 7.30 p.m. Well, it is Canada Day. I promised my girlfriend I would take a shot of Fireball for her. So, happy Canada Day. To all my friendly Canadians out there. Have we jealous? Yeah. Can't talk. Happy July 4th. 
to all my American viewership as well and to all my friends from the States. Cheers, everybody. This, quite literally, is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm so thirsty. Made it to our site. It's beautiful here. I'm gonna be too exhausted to enjoy it. Dad is calling me. One more day of hiking. Good morning, everybody. It is 6.40 on our final day. Our hike back into the truck where we're gonna have our 11 to 13 hour drive home, depending on where we live. This is four of us. My feet are very sore. I can barely walk on them after yesterday's marathon. The bottoms of them. I feel like I'm walking on hot coals, but today we only have a five to seven kilometer push. So it's gonna take everything that we have left just to get there. But uh, definitely tired and ready to get back. I've enjoyed this trip, it's beautiful. Lake Superior is incredible, something like I never thought it would be. But I'm ready for my own bed. Very tired. You destroyed your feet. Good old Timberland. What an amazing country we live in. Just getting some water down here by these falls, these rapids on our last day. We're gonna have to give it all we have to get back. Yesterday was insane. But uh, if you've watched up until this part of the video, I wanna thank you very much. I'm sorry about not having the tripod. It's been mostly handheld. But uh, we really have had a blast. I've learned a lot, connected with nature, and I love exploring my beautiful country of Canada. And uh, we've made some core memories. Even though I can't feel my feet right now, everything thus far has been worth it. Our plan is to grind all the way to the truck, and then we're gonna go get some breakfast. I think in White River, there's an A&W. And then keep shooting south to Sault Ste. Marie, and then Get a greasy lunch, burgers, poutines, milkshakes, beer, whatever. I'm ordering it. So stay tuned. And we're off. We just started this hike with pure incline. That's one way to get the blood flowing. <laughs> Holy. You should get your camera, Ryan. This is, this, this, you should get your camera. Oh my gosh. This right here is by far the easiest trail we've had on the trip so far. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, thank you. No problem. Hiking is so different than a portage trip, which I'm used to. On a portage trip, you have like a big portage would be two kilometers. And if you're really gung ho, you can carry everything on your back with the canoe in your pack. Or sometimes you double back and that's a big trip. So two kilometers could either be two kilometers or it could be four kilometers. Then you can paddle 20 kilometers easily to the next lake. But hiking is one long portage. You don't get a rest in the canoe. You're just constantly bringing all your gear and lugging it through all these trains, which at points are gruesome. I don't film all of them because for safety reasons, I don't want to have my camera out. 
So from what you guys have seen so far, you've probably only seen the easy stuff, like this. Smooth sailing right now, thank God. I can already taste that burger. We're in the last kilometer. One of the hardest things I've ever done. I can taste the milkshake. This is a good sign that we're almost there. The wetlands park is so close to here that they're able to build this platform. It's like a plastic dock. Wish we had this most of the trail. Nah, just kidding. I liked how hard it was. I see cars. I see the teepees where we started in the bathroom. We made it. This is well deserved. How many did you think? I don't know. I don't know. Made it back to the truck. And now we're gonna relax on a 12 hour drive. Frozen root beer and a whistle dog and fries.